AI-powered tools that make photo and video editing more efficient, inspiration for pride-focused content, and essential intel on Instagram's ranking system. This is the Creator Update. Let's get started. Creators, are you looking to get more informed on Pride Month? Well, look no further because Google has put together a large library that you can dig through to learn new things or rediscover some key moments in LGBTQI plus history. First, to honor the legacy of the ballroom, yes, I'm talking about the 80s New York City scene that inspired the hit show Pose. Google Arts and Culture has partnered with experts and icons to celebrate ballroom culture's history and heritage. But there are lots of other ways Google is spreading the word. Curious? Check out the video description below for sources to read more about it. Real talk, if you're a small business owner, you'll know how hard it can be to create top quality product images on a budget. Google is launching Product Studio, a new tool inside of Google's Merchant Center Next that could help with this. What can it do, you might ask? Google shopping merchants can now quickly edit and customize their product images using generative AI. Designed to help creators stand out on e-commerce listings, Product Studio has a string of helpful features to note. You can remove product backgrounds and add a custom product scene instead with ease. Very cool. It's also possible to increase the image resolution without having to reshoot a product, so you can immediately see the benefits of this tool in your daily biz. Merchants in the US can access Product Studio starting in the next few months. Oh, and these features will also be available using the Google and YouTube app on Shopify. Now on to hot news on video editing, because Veed is launching what it calls an industry-first editing tool, incorporating, you guessed it, artificial intelligence. Magic Cut uses AI to transform lengthy footage into short, snappy edits, perfect for your day-to-day -day content posts on channels like TikTok and Instagram, where, let's face it, every second counts. So if you, hmm, have to, uh, cut out a lot of um, awkward pauses, every time you edit a video, Magic Cut could help you get through that step much quicker. Another hot post-production topic incoming. Photoshop subscribers can now tap into their body of AI models directly in the Photoshop desktop beta app. And creators, it is impressive. Wave goodbye to painstakingly editing unwanted objects from images because now you can focus on the fun stuff. Technically, Generative Fill isn't a new feature, but having it sit next to your editing sliders is new. Use it by making a selection, lasso, magic wand, whatever you like, and then typing in a text prompt. It can remove and add elements to your photo or extend the image. Over to Substack now, who've launched a new set of tools with us creators in mind. Let's take a look. So writers have a hot new layout for their homepage with more flexibility and not one, but three levels of customization. Hero display, post previews, and top post featured section. Pretty neat. Other new add-ons include a dashboard with a one spot overview of the writer's publication health, embedding interactive charts or maps and the long requested and long awaited tag feature with unique URLs. There are lots of other big and small updates waiting for Substack users to test them out. So go ahead and visit the link down below for a full list of these new features. And last but not least, Instagram has updated its resource page, explaining how ranking works across each part of its app feed, stories, explore, and reels. As some may know, it's super helpful to understand how Instagram ranking works if you wanna maximize your visibility and engagement on this platform. If you wanna know more on this, check out Adam Masseri's reel and subsequent blog posts where he provides some additional clarity around all of this and more. All right, creators, that's all we've got time for this month. Discuss in the comments which of these updates you might be trying out next. Happy Pride and ciao for now.